Hello, I'm Chief James Fox, and this is Behind the Badge. I'm Morgan Tejans, and this is Behind the Badge. Today we will be speaking with the executive staff of the Neighborhood Watch Coalition. Today I have with me Mr. Phil Barmachine, Ms. Vicki Harrison, and Ms. Mary Joyner. Phil, I'd like to start with you. For those folks who are not familiar with the Neighborhood Watch Coalition, what exactly is it? It's neighborhood. Neighborhood working together. Uh, it started uh, back in 1981 with one of our illustrious members, uh, Annie Williams, uh, in a neighborhood that was ridden with crime. Uh, and with her persistence, uh, with the police department and an officer, St. John's, uh, the first neighborhood watch was formed in Newport News. Uh, so it actually started in the early 80s? Started in the early 80s. So it's been in existence over two, Almost two decades, decades now? Almost three. Right. Now tell me, do you, act, do you belong to a crime watch, excuse me, a neighborhood watch as well? Yes, I, I have the Salters Creek South neighborhood watch. Uh, 57, 58 members uh, down in the Salters Creek area. Now, I just slipped and said Crime Watch, um, and, and you chuckled a little bit. Tell us a little bit about that, that change. Uh, actually, when you look at Neighborhood Watch, it's the neighborhood. It's neighbors working together, getting to know mate their neighbors, learning how to protect their neighborhood, uh, and having fun together. And, right. and so the term crime just wasn't really a, didn't fit. Right, so that's how the change came about and so now it's referred to as Neighborhood Watch. Neighborhood Watch. Now, Vicki, let's talk a little bit uh, with you, if I may. How long have you been with the Neighborhood Watch that you're currently involved in? I started in the Neighborhood Watch Coalition in 1978. And the reason being is that uh, I noticed that uh, during that summer prior to me joining, there was an increase in crime. There were a lot of murders in my community. Actually, I want to clarify that I do live in the Southeast community. And at that time, there was a surge in uh, young people murdering one another, and I was just appalled. And it just bothered me so much. I just needed to do something. I needed to go out and uh, communicate with people about the situation. And this is like a vehicle to um, just do something about the crime situation in addition to supporting the youth in the community. Right. Now you also serve, as I mentioned earlier, on the executive board of the Neighborhood Watch Coalition. That is correct. And what position do you currently hold? I am the secretary okay. and uh, my position is uh, actually recording uh, the minutes and all the events that occur. Actually the meetings are very, very interesting. We have a lot of activities and a lot of programs that occur during the meetings. So uh, it's my responsibility to record that. Great. Mary, what is your role in the Neighborhood Watch Coalition? I am the first vice president of the Neighborhood Watch Coalition. And uh, that I say is, was, is very a uh, tremendous experience because when I joined the Neighborhood Watch Coalition, I really didn't know that there was many, many resources in the neighborhood and working together with the police department. I, I really didn't know that it was active, but I have found out that it's, it's great resources, now, great resources. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you actually started the neighborhood watch group in your neighborhood? In my neighborhood, yes I did. Uh, it was in 2000. Uh, it was a lot of crime in my neighborhood. Gunshots every night. Uh, so I, I say something had to be done. So I went to the North District Precinct and asked for a neighborhood watch a CRO office, which is a community resource officer. I said, because I know there's something and someone out here that can help my neighborhood. And that's kind of how it evolved. 
and that's how it evolved and the group that's became. That's how I got involved now, in 2000. Now, I'm, uh, I, I don't want to um, start any type of um, uh, competition. <laughs> However, I understand that you have like the second largest crime or neighborhood watch group in the city, is that correct? Yes, in the North District. In the North District. In the North That's District. not bragging, that's just telling it how it is, correct? <laughs> yes. Well, let me ask you this, Phil. Do you have, is it, is, are there any paid positions within the Crime Watch, uh, excuse me, Neighborhood Watch Coalition? You're getting better. I'm getting no, better, yeah. No paid positions, we just give our time to the neighborhoods. So, so in, in, it is a volunteer group. Everyone that volunteers does it out of the goodness of their heart because they care. That's correct. Now, let, let me just kind of clarify so people understand. We have a, some 47, 48 active neighborhood watches wow. in Newport News throughout the south, central, and north, and probably another 50 or 60 that, that they've solved their problems and that they're not meeting monthly. Now, we have the coalition, which is made up of representatives from each of those neighborhood watches attending our meetings uh, on the second Monday of every month at the Central Police Headquarters uh, at 7 p.m. And that's where, you know, we help disseminate information, resources, ideas, exchange ideas, help tips. Uh, so does the, is it fair to say that the coalition oversees the neighborhood watch groups or how would you term it? I, I wouldn't say oversee, I, I would say works with, helps. Supports. Resports, responsive to. Uh, and, and, it, and it's neighbors working together. And how do you become a member of the Neighborhood Watch Coalition? Raise your hand. Raise your Basically hand. Basically come to the meeting. So step forward. Step forward. Take the initiative. Uh, take the initiative. We Just have, do it. Uh, citizens coming in, neighbors that, that want to start Neighborhood Watches, that, that actually right. start with the coalition meeting. Right. Uh, others, uh, once they've just started and, and they come to gain additional information and insight and exchanging information with the other uh, neighborhood watch members that are there. Very good. Now, Vicki, do you have to have any particular talent um, to be involved with this group? Well, I really don't think so. <laughs> it's, it's just uh, being able to uh, show concern, support, and just pulling up your sleeves and just uh, being out there and raising your hand and doing what needs to be done. Um, I myself have not formed my own uh, neighborhood watch group. I have uh, joined an existing neighborhood watch group and uh, it's the East End uh, Community Neighborhood Watch Group and there I'm an active participant. And uh, we get together uh, once a month and we discuss our concerns in the Southeast community. And we also have programs and we also have projects that we do uh, participate in as well. So um, it, everything is, seems to be fractured in the community and I felt that just by infusing myself in an existing group that I could probably be more effective that way as opposed to starting a brand new one. Very nice. Now, Mary, I'm gonna put you on the spot and I'm gonna ask you um, this. Does Neighborhood Watch work? Because I know earlier you said that you started it because you had concerns about gunshots. Does it work? Yes, it does. Yes, yes it does. And I can tell you, once you start a neighborhood watch group in your neighborhood community, you become partnership with the police department. And when they know you are there, and I tell you, when they come to your crime watch, uh, neighborhood watch meeting, uh, the existing neighbors that w does not participate in your neighborhood watch will see that the officers in your neighborhood, they don't know where it's a crime or w what, but they are, then once they get involved, they know the officer there because they care about your community. So it works. And in uh, my neighborhood, I tell the officers, you can visit me at any time. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I love to see a police car at my house, my neighbor's house, right. and, and without a crime happening, right. just visit. And, and anyone that um, has a crime watch group, I tell them, ask the officers to visit, right. to visit your home. Now,